Man, in today's video, man, I'm talking about, you know, some of these case studies where men are showing women via social media that they are not husband material. You know, in this, you are not husband material, you know, or wife material playlist. We're gonna capture those that think they are ready, but potentially could ruin your life as a man or a woman. And in today's clip, man, I'm gonna be posting some men that are gonna say some things that if you are just looking from appearance, possibly in the lust of your flesh, you're gonna miss out and not realize the red flags, the signs and the rebellions that some of these men are living in and this will wreck your life as a woman. You know, some of these men that are uh, looking for long-term relationship, you know, I would hate for women out here to not have discernment and to fall for guys like this because these are the guys that truly have nothing going for themselves and want everything in the world, want the good woman, but the word says the godly woman is reserved for him that fears the most high and the wicked woman is given as a portion to the wicked man. Let's roll that footage. Ready? I'm ready. All wow. Right, what's your name? Yes. Hi, my name is CJ. Like I, Kendra, oh my God. I cannot believe I'm here to see you today. Wow. You're here, okay. you're here CJ. All right, yeah, so I'm ready guys. Um, I've been trying to come on this show forever. I literally just went to the app StreamYard and like started doing the process and it happened. I'm happy to see you. I love you so much. Your energy is great. Thank you, CJ. All right. <laughs> CJ, where are you calling me from, baby? I'm in New York City. New York City. How old are you? I'm 34. 34. And what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a detective. <laughs> okay, detective. You have any kids? No children. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a June 4th Gemini. Gemini. I comment and... in your comments all the time, talking to people, getting on their case. I'm one of the real cousins. So. Oh, he a real cousin. So you already know how we do over here. Okay. So we got CJ, North New York City, 34, Gemini, no kids, is a detective. Have you ever been married? I've never been married before. Okay. CJ, who are you looking for tonight? Well, today. Wow. Today, I'm looking for a woman who's willing to understand the aspects of this new life that we're living in. I did struggle with homosexuality most of my life, but the past eight years, I've been alone. It's a miracle that I'm actually on this show right now because uh, I'm definitely a, a, a take, a good take. Um, I'm a little basic. I was raised by a Taurus, so I live like a Taurus. I'm very homebody. Um, I'm very attractive. I make sure everything's clean and I don't know. I just pay bills and stuff. You know, life can be a little boring as a grown adult and you don't get what you need. So you just do it for yourself. <laughs> okay. Now, CJ, I have to be honest. And you did go there when you said woman, a couple of cousins and myself was taken back. So have you ever dated a woman? I've never dated a woman before. I've never okay. dated a woman. I've, I've been with one man my entire life. Well, not my entire life, but from ages 17 this person was older and, and, and this may like shock a lot of people, but a lot of people my age coming from the nineties, like uh, when you're young and in that life, like you had to do what you had to do. And when I moved to New York, I had a scholarship for Hunter college. I'm sorry, the TV's too loud. I had a scholarship for Hunter college when I moved to New York and, um, and um, I came here, I was 18 years old. That was like 2008. And I stayed and I just worked and went to college. I met the guy at college. He was like 59 at the time. So now, of course, he's like 80, 90 almost. So he was Wait, financially taking- He was 59 and how old were you? I was only 18. And it was more of a situation that I really wouldn't discuss online, but it was okay. more of a taking advantage of situation. I had just Absolutely. came out of foster care. Yeah. And I didn't know right from wrong like that. I knew what was going on. I'm not going to sit here and act like that man was 100% wrong, which he was, but I was too, because at 18, you know what's going on. But me, I stayed disease-free, no HIV, no AIDS, everything proof. I don't, my first date is the doctor's office. 